Get in, hello good people, it is Milmo here, back from a Mythbusters exclusive on the Armoury. And the reason I'm doing this video is I keep getting asked questions and people keep telling me this and they're making really, really, I guess they got this assumption that is absolutely not true and I just want to set the record straight because someone actually said it to me a day ago and I thought it, I, I couldn't believe that it was still going around so I just wanted to make a video to actually clear things up and I guess set the record straight in this regards to hopefully stop people from going down that same road. Now essentially when it comes to disassembling your weapons, uh, what what I'm trying to say to you guys and what people keep saying to me is when you have upgraded weapons, if you disassemble them, you're going to get the materials back that you put into it. So you might get a deck tape back or a polishing kit if you put that into it. That is 100% not true. It's false. It is absolutely a false statement. That is not how the armory works and that is not how dissembling your weapons works. It is based on RNG by any means and not based on what materials you put in. Now there are a lot of people out there believing this just because you've had success with one or two weapons does not mean it's actually accurate. I have disassembled a lot of upgraded weapons and got nothing. We'll go for a couple ones, a few more here and as you can see a bunch of stuff you can essentially get in the armory and you can essentially craft in the armory. That's all that was. That's a really big stab to the heart actually. That was three four star weapons and got a bunch of nothing again which is really nice. I've had a good run of it the last few days so as you can see a bunch of nothing. Um, they were upgraded weapons. Now Essentially, I want to explain how the RNG works. The RNG is very ra random, and the only way you can change it by upgrading, this is the only way it works. I want to make it very clear. It does not increase your odds of getting the rare items. It does not increase your odds. It does not guarantee you will get a rare item, like your polishing kit, your duct tape. does not guarantee that. If you disassemble platinum weapons, it doesn't guarantee you will get them and it does not increase the odds. That's not how it works. Whilst you could have some success and get duct tapes, all you're doing when you upgrade a weapon with the RNG is just changing what it could have been in the first place to something different. It could be better or it could have been worse to what it would have been when it was a stock item or a stock weapon. You're not increasing your odds by any means and I want to make that very clear you're not increasing the odds for the rare items. You were just changing what the materials would have been the first hand or the first time when you got it to something different the second time which like I said it could be better or it could be worse that's just how it works I'm gonna disassemble a couple of platinum weapons not too many because I've not got too many weapons to disassemble so we're just gonna do a couple and I'm gonna actually show you that while she can have some success hopefully I get something decent you also can get a bunch of crap like normal weapons again and these are platinum weapons so they're upgraded weapons it doesn't mean that you're gonna get increased chances or anything like that. First up we got duct tape that makes me look like an idiot but anyways two weapons there and we got one duct tape the rest are generic items that you can craft in your armory. One duct tape 50% odd that was two weapons but we both know that RNG and Scopely don't worth, work at those two I guess that high of odds anyway they definitely don't work at that high odds so if it was a lot more weapons which if unfortunately I didn't have or didn't want to throw out a lot more weapons if it was a lot more weapons then I can guarantee I probably would end up with one duct tape and a whole bunch of nothing but I just want to make it clear that for those people that are believing that um, upgrading your weapons and things like that guarantees you rare items or guarantees you the materials you put into it, there are a lot of people that believe that and I even know because there's people in my faction that have said that to me. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Though you may have some success sometimes, it's not how it works. It doesn't increase your odds at getting the duct tape, the polishing kits, the etching acids, the silver paints, all those rare items. It does increase those odds. It also doesn't guarantee you will get any material that you put into that weapon, upgrading that weapon back. It doesn't do any of those things. It's absolutely false if you're under the assumption that it does do that. All it does do when you upgrade the weapon, like I said, is it changes the materials that you would have previously got. It's sort of like um, uh, having a level, sticking your hand into a hat, grabbing out one ticket. If you change it, it's like they shake the hat and you grab out another ticket. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be better or worse than the original result. But I hope that did help and thanks for watching.